Uh, next, I want you to understand uh, a very important functional aspect of the thalamus. The thalamus is a very important relay center uh, for sensory information. All sensory information is relayed through uh, thalamic connections up then to the cerebral cortex with the uh, exception of olfaction. Uh, this slide is uh, simpler in that it's not uh, overwhelmed uh, with uh, labels, but it is demonstrating the thalamic radiations. Uh, so these would be the, the connections that exist between the thalamic nuclei and the uh, cerebral uh, cortex. Thalamic fibers are shown in through here, these darker colored structures. This is a more anterior view of those thalamic radiations. This is a more posterior view of thalamic uh, radiations. The thalamic radiations uh, travel in the internal capsule, uh, so they do accompany uh, the motor axon fibers that are descending within the internal capsule, and the motor fibers are shown here in the lighter color, descending through the internal capsule. Uh, the thalamus may be considered the gate to consciousness. Uh, here we see the oval thalamic nuclei. These are bilateral. Each one of these bilateral structures contains multiple uh, nuclear components that make this a very complex uh, structure. And then here uh, in the axial view, uh, we can see various thalamic uh, nuclei and their relationships uh, to one another. Don't mean to overwhelm you at the beginning here, uh, but the purpose of this slide is just to provide you a menu of the various thalamic uh, nuclei. We are going to take a look at each one of these uh, in greater uh, detail, so I'm not going to read all of these off uh, to you at this moment, but let's now take a look at the anterior uh, thalamic nucleus. The anterior thalamic nucleus is shown in through here and has been highlighted for you. When we think about thalamic nuclei, in this case the anterior one, we need to think about input-output. So what kind of information is coming in to this anterior thalamic nucleus? Well, the input here is from the mammillary body and the hippocampal of formation. So now that the anterior thalamic nucleus has received this input, where is it going? What's its output? Well, the output will be to the cingulate gyrus, which is uh, in the uh, cerebral uh, cortex. The function of your anterior uh, thalamic nucleus is that it's involved in the limbic pathway. The limbic pathway is discussed in detail in another uh, lecture. Next, we have the ventroposteromedial uh, nucleus, or simply VPM, and it is highlighted here. It, too, would have an input consideration and an output consideration. Input to the VPM is uh, sensory from the face and taste, gustation. The output from this nucleus is going to be to the somatosensory uh, cortex. Consequently, this nucleus is involved in relaying somatosensory cranial nerve inputs, cranial nerve inputs, and taste or gustation to the cortex. We also have, for your consideration, the ventral posterolateral nucleus of the thalamus, VPL, and it is highlighted here. Its input is going to be sensory from the body and the limbs. So this is going to process a lot of information coming into the thalamus. And as it processes it, it's going to output it, send it to the somatosensory cortex so we can perceive various uh, sensations, touch, pressure, vibration, uh, for example. And again, it's going to relay uh, somatosensory uh, spinal inputs up to the somatosensory cortex so that we can perceive uh, those various uh, senses.
Uh, next on our list is the ventral anterior slash lateral uh, thalamic nuclei, the VA slash L. Uh, these are highlighted in the image, so they can be seen here. Uh, their input is going to be from the basal ganglia as well as from the cerebellum. Output from this uh, collection of two nuclei is going to be to the motor, premotor, and supplemental uh, motor uh, cortices. And these are located in the frontal uh, lobe. So consequently, this is the relay then between the basal ganglia and cerebellar inputs uh, to the motor uh, cortical uh, areas. Uh, another thalamic nucleus is the mediodorsal nucleus. Uh, this is not shown in the plane of section that we have uh, in the uh, image. Uh, the inputs here are from the amygdala uh, and olfactory inputs as well as limbic basal ganglia. So multiple inputs here, but the output is all to the frontal uh, cortex and as a result, uh, one of the functions here is for the limbic pathway then to allow a major relay to the frontal cortex, allowing for that interconnectedness. And uh, this area uh, can be damaged, can be lesioned, and uh, result in Wernicke-Korsakoff uh, syndrome. Uh, next is the pulvinar uh, nucleus. The pulvinar nucleus is shown here in a light blue color. Uh, it's receiving uh, input from the visual pathway, auditory pathway, and then there are other sensory pathways that will contribute input into this uh, nucleus. Uh, output is going to be to the parietal temporal occipital association area. And uh, this is going to allow us to orient ourselves toward visual, auditory, and other sensory uh, stimuli. Here's another uh, thalamic nucleus that I want you to uh, think about and remember. Uh, this is the medial geniculate body, MGB. Uh, it's labeled, got a little slender portion of it right along in through here. Uh, the input into the medial geniculate body is going to be from the inferior uh, colliculus, and its output is going to be to the auditory uh, cortex of the temporal lobe. Thus, it functions as a relay for auditory input uh, to the uh, cortex. If we have a medial geniculate body, it stands to reason that we have a lateral geniculate body, LGB, and that uh, we can see it right in this particular area, not much there uh, in the illustration or image. Uh, but this is the area uh, that's going to receive information uh, from the retina, so that's the input. Output then will be to your primary visual cortex in the occipital lobe, and so this is a very important relay nucleus then of visual input to the cortex for the perception of vision. Uh, this thalamic uh, nuclear collection is the intralaminar slash midline thalamic nuclei. And uh, they are shown in this general area on the medial side of this collection of thalamic nuclei. Uh, these are involved in arousal. And as a result of that, uh, they will activate the reticular uh, will be part of the activation of the reticular activating uh, system. Uh, here we could focus on the lower uh, portion of the slide, and we'll just uh, come right in here to this center box, and right below it you see various sensory inputs, vision, audition, olfaction, um, uh, for example. Um, and so let's just say you have a visual stimulus. Now let's take a look at what happens uh, next in response to the visual stimulus. This will have uh, excitatory output to the reticular uh, activating uh, system, and we can see that excitatory input from the visual stimulus into the uh, reticular activating system that is found in the brain stem. 
From here, uh, there is input that's excitatory to thalamic nuclei. And so we see the excitatory input to nonspecific uh, thalamic nuclei. And then from here, you relay to the cortex to activate, to stimulate uh, it. So that's the connectedness, the circuitry that exists between thalamic nuclei and the reticular uh, activating system. <music>